as you see, this is an article that is from 2018. An article that I just posted on my WordPress. Now, I posted this for a reason. Because it appears that there are so many anti-black American groups. Groups that don't even associate with the so-called black American. Are groups that are so strongly against reparations. Although it was the so-called black Americans that were the ones that protest and fought so that they may have rights in this great America. And now once they come here, most of these groups or all of these groups look down their nose at the so-called black Americans. This whole thing that's happening with Palestine and Israel, I really don't have a dog in that fight because both groups have done injustice to the so-called black Americans, foundational black Americans. When we spoke on reparations, many of these groups were saying that we were or we had a victim mentality that we were always crying victim. And they seem to have a problem again with reparations. When black Americans speak out against reparations, they're the ones that stand up and say that black Americans weren't slaves. There's no reason why we should have to pay for it. Um, our ancestors didn't do it. Uh, you need to pull yourself up by your own bootstraps. But now when these same groups fall into hard times, the first people they cry upon are the so-called black Americans that want foundational black Americans to cape for them, to be on the front line, to protest for them. Now we're all the same. But yet when black Americans were going through injustice, no one stood in our defense. No one stood up for us. No one protested for us. Now, this is an article that go back to 2018. And you see the title, Israel, African migrants told to leave or face imprisonment. This is how Israel but this is what Israel think of the so-called black people. The black people of the world. Now, I'm only going to read a portion of this article and I'm going to post the link on the bottom. And I invite you to go and check it out in its entirety for yourself. Even share this article. Because you have so many black Americans now that's caping for Israel. And keep in mind that the modern day Israel is not the Israelites that the Bible speaks on. As a matter of fact, modern Israel don't even acknowledge the so-called black Americans as being Hebrew Israelites. Remember what happened to Kanye West when he spoke out against the so-called Jews? Now, I'm not saying that Israel did that, but yet Israel did speak on that. They had an opinion on what Kanye had to say, and they shut Kanye down. They messed up a lot of business for Kanye West because he acknowledged that he were of the true Hebrew Israelites. But yet so many black Americans are caping for Israel and Palestine. Let me show you what Israel did for the African migrants when they were there. It says, Israeli government has issued a notice for thousands of African migrants to leave the country or face imprisonment. The migrants will, begin, will be given up to three, $3,500 
for leaving within the next 90 days. They will be given an option of going to their home country or third countries. If they do not leave, the Israeli authority have threatened that they will start jailing them from April. Okay, now if you go down, and, and what I find interesting is you have a lot of these, these groups, these anti-black American groups, those that always have an opinion of the so-called black Americans, but yet they replicate or try to replicate what foundational black Americans do. And they're not successful at it. They need the energy of the so-called black American to get their protests popping. Look at this. The black power sign was used back in the, the 60s, the 50s and the 60s. Now look at these so-called Israels, Israelis, that's now got their fist in the air, trying to mimic the so-called black American. Now, I read an article where they were questioning, like they were saying that that black Americans were hypocritical, Black Lives Matter was hypocritical. Although I don't support Black Lives Matter, I never supported Black Lives Matter, it is hypocritical. Or well, because the unborn babies that's in the womb of black women, their lives don't matter. But that's another topic. But it was Miss Israeli, Israeli, that had a comment and was questioning where are the so-called black Americans. So now these groups or many of these groups are upset because the so-called black Americans are not caping for them. Of course you have a few and you have black Americans is talking about free Palestine, but yet the so-called black Americans that don't even have an anti-hate bill not even speaking on reparations. Black Americans don't even have an anti-hate bill when white supremacist cops are able to do anything and everything to black Americans and no one stands up in their defense. The only time foreigners speak on what's happening with black Americans is when they use George Floyd as a political weapon against this government but yet they are not, not really in favor or defense of the so-called black Americans but yet they want black Americans to cake for them I think foundational black Americans should from this point on mind your own business work to build yourselves and leave other people's business alone. Let them pull themselves up by their own bootstraps like they expect you to do. So feedback, tell me what you think, subscribe, and share this article. Until next time, I'm fearless.